Something to always keep in mind when exporting your files is to go to the Show All button. This will just make sure that every object in your scene, including the ones that may have been hidden at the time, are fully selected and fully visible. This ensures that you don't leave anything out when exporting your models from the scene. So now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select my folder. That's the one I want. And give my file a name. And I'm going to export my mesh. And now I can bring my model into the Jig Space Workshop. So now that our model has been fully optimized, grouped, and positioned, I'm ready to bring it into my Jig Space scene. So I'm going to the left hand side and I'll import my CAD file. And now my CAD file is loaded into the scene. I'm able to move it around as though it's a single object because of how we exported it out as one object, but by separating out my models or combining them into their selected groups, if I go to sub-object mode, I'm able to select the individual pieces or meshes that make up my model. So if I add another step, for example, I completed the split through my model on this outer casing. So if I pull it aside and go to the color palette, and lower its transparency, or turn up its transparency, you can see that I'm able to leave smooth transitions that reveal these internal components. When I want to give my models materials, I'm able to select them, go to the material section, and scroll down till I find the right material. They're also able to be given different colors and the objects that I've grouped together, for example, these bars here, move as a single group. The same can be said for the screws at the rear of the hairdryer. They work as a single object group and they also receive the same materials when I apply a material to that group. Now if I zoom in, you'll see that they're both a shiny silver color. So not only have I improved or optimized my model by joining these pieces into groups, improving its overall performance, I've also cleaned up the model considerably, lowering the number of triangles. So this model should run a lot smoother on some of the older devices.